What's up you guys, my name is Aubrey and this is my channel and today I wanna to talk about stimulus checks. I wanna talk about when you can expect to receive your stimulus check if you have not received it yet. I'm gonna be talking about the Get My Payment portal. I'm gonna be talking about what the current status of the stimulus checks are. And then at the very end of the video, I'm also gonna to touch on unemployment as well. So. Let's get started. So over the last few weeks, I've heard a lot of people who have had trouble accessing the Get My Payment portal because of the fact that the portal was down for a while, because whenever there was no stimulus checks going out, there was no need for the portal. Well, as of yesterday, the portal is back up and running, which means that you can access the portal if you're somebody who wants to track your payment, if you're somebody who needs to update your information, or if you're somebody who just wants to check out the portal. And I wanna go through and show you really quickly how to use that, just in case you're somebody who wants to use the Get My Payment portal for whatever reason. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to irs.gov slash coronavirus slash get dash my dash payment. Make sure to go to this website. It will be linked in the description down below. The reason why this is so important is because if you go to just getmypayment.com, it will not lead you to this. It has to be the IRS website. And make sure that if it's not the irs.gov website, to not enter any of your personal information like social security number, for example. But what you're going to do is once you get to the Get My Payment portal, the screen will look like this. And you will just want to scroll down until you see Get My Payment. You'll simply click on that. It will then say this US government system is for authorized use only. You're gonna click OK. And then from here, you're gonna be entering your social security number or individual tax ID number. You're gonna enter your date of birth, your street address, and your zip code as well. Once you enter your information in the Get My Payment portal, it will then tell you what the status of your check is. It will tell you when your check is being mailed out, and it will also tell you if there's any issues with your check or with your information that need to be updated. Now, the important thing to remember with this Get My Payment portal is that if you are somebody who received a stimulus check in the first round of stimulus funding, chances are you don't need to do anything this second round. You don't need to update any information. That is with the exception of if you are somebody who has has recently moved, maybe you recently got married, maybe you changed banks. In these instances, you would wanna update your information. Additionally, according to multiple sources, stimulus checks via direct deposit have all been issued. So if you're somebody who was expecting to receive a payment through a direct deposit, you should have received that within the last few days, maybe to the last week. So if you're somebody who was expecting to receive a stimulus check via direct deposit and you did not receive one, then I would definitely keep an eye out in the mail because you should be receiving that via paper check mailed to your address. If you're somebody who was expecting to get a paper mail check sent to you, then that should be coming in the next few days days, it really should be coming within the next like week to a week and a half. The important thing to remember with stimulus checks is that there is a deadline for these to be issued and that deadline is January 15th. That's the deadline that this $900 billion stimulus bill has put into place. And if you do not receive your stimulus check by then, instead you may receive a tax credit in the form of a recovery rebate. And that may be how you receive your $600 rather than a direct payment or a direct deposit. Now remember that as far as stimulus checks go, we are still in kind of a heated discussion on whether or not we'll receive a $2,000 stimulus check. Now, I made a video talking about this a few days ago, and in that video I said that I believe that it is not a matter of if we'll receive $2,000, I think it's a matter of time, and I still think that that is relatively true. With that being said, I don't know how the $600 stimulus check will affect a $2,000 check. Will we get $1,400, so 2,000 minus the 600 we just got to bring it to a 2,000 total? Will it be an additional $2,000, which brings the total to 2,600? I am really interested to see exactly how it ends up playing out, and we really should be finding out within, I would say, the next probably four to six weeks. But as of right now, the $600 stimulus check is all that's confirmed, and you really should start receiving those within the next couple of days. And if you're somebody who has direct deposit, then you should have already received one as of today, January 6th. Now, the second thing that I wanna talk about is unemployment. So as you guys know, in this $900 billion stimulus package, there is a $300 weekly unemployment boost. This means that for unemployed individuals, not only will you receive the state benefits that you've probably been receiving all year if you've been unemployed, 
unemployed, but you will also receive an additional $300 per week per the federal government, just like it was in the CARES Act, but instead of $600, it is $300. Now, I did a video covering this a few days ago, and one of the questions that I got in that video was the question of, do gig workers still qualify for unemployment? And the answer to that question is yes. The big change with this $300 weekly unemployment boost and this $900 billion stimulus package is very similar to how it was in the CARES Act. It really makes unemployment incredibly more accessible to people who wouldn't traditionally qualify for it. So people who maybe just had their income significantly decreased because of COVID-19. Let's say, for example, you are a gig worker, you're a freelancer, you build websites for a living, you work in the gig economy, you're self-employed, whatever the case is, if you are one of these people or you fall into one of these categories, you would not traditionally qualify for unemployment, not in a traditional marketplace at least. Well, with this stimulus boost that was outlined in the CARES Act, as well as outlined in this $900 billion stimulus package, you would qualify. It allows for people who fall in these categories to collect unemployment if their earnings and if their income has been affected by the pandemic. So this is something that is hugely beneficial to anybody who has had an income shift because of COVID, anybody who's lost their job, anybody who's unable to work, or anybody who got COVID and as a result had to take time off from work as well, or if a loved one got COVID and then you had to take time off in order to self-isolate, in order to care for your loved one. There is a variety of different factors that could qualify you for this unemployment benefit, even if you wouldn't have traditionally qualified for unemployment a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. So it really does kind of open the unemployment floodgates for so many different people that wouldn't ordinarily get it. Additionally, the other question that I've been receiving quite a lot is the question of retroactive pay for unemployment. And this is something that is different than the CARES Act. So in the CARES Act, there was retroactive pay to a certain extent offered to people who were collecting unemployment, but that is not the case for this newest stimulus package. With this package, you are eligible for unemployment from the end of December, really kind of from the beginning of January until the middle of March. There is no retroactive pay throughout December. It's just from you know the end of December until March, and that's how much you qualify for. It's 11 weeks total of coverage. The good news though is that there is retroactive payments offered in the case that your state is slow at implementing unemployment payments. So let's say, for example, that you live in the state of Florida, and Florida takes a long time implementing their unemployment because of computer and software issues. Even though the stimulus package was passed at the end of December, and with that, unemployment also was extended and passed as well, let's say you don't receive your first payment until the end of January. Well, you're not just screwed out of that four to five week period of time. Instead, you receive that via retroactive pay. So you will receive that pay from the time that the unemployment bill was passed to the time that you receive your first payment. So make sure to stay on top of that, to stay on top of how much your state and the government should owe you so that you can know that you received the correct amount. With that being said, you guys, I know that this video kind of jumped all over the place, but I wanted to address some of the key things that I've been noticing in the comments section of my videos. The fact that the Get My Payment portal was down was something that many of you pointed out to me, and the question of retroactive pay as well as gig work for unemployment was something that many of you asked of me as well. So I wanted to address some of those kind of key questions that I've been getting over the last week, week and a half period of time. But like always, you guys, I would love to hear your thoughts. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have anything to ask, make sure to leave a comment down below. I don't respond to every single comment, but I do read the majority of them. And I do take note of which comments and which questions are asked really frequently. That way I can address them in a later video. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. I will read it. I may not respond directly, but I will read it. And if it's a question that many people have been getting, I will address it in a video as well. If you guys want to get in touch with me directly, or if you want to just check me out on Instagram, you can find me. My Instagram handle is aubrey.janik. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video.